uh greetings greetings fellow grade 11s it's mr fatrayo again uh now what we are looking at now we are looking basically at our eastern cape paper right so we are still looking at our 2022 november and the topic that we are still examining it is uh, our quadratic patterns right now what is it that we are given here so you are given that you are having 204 you are also having 176 you are also having 150 and you're having 126 right now firstly they want you to find out what is the next two terms of the pattern right so for you to find out the next two terms of any pattern you first need to find out what is the differences in here all right so now and if you are looking for a difference now let's start here so if you are going to look for the first difference, let's see in terms of what is it that you are going to have. Now, the first difference here is going to be negative 28. Now, and then this is going to be given by what? When you say 150 subtract 176, this is going to be negative 26. And when you say 126 subtract this, this is going to be negative 24, right? And now from here, then you are going to look for now your second difference. And now the second difference, as you can see, there's a difference of what? Of two and two, right? Now, which means now the next two terms, or the next consecutive two terms, you are going to have two here, and which means this is going to be negative 22. And from negative 22, what is it that you are going to have here? This is going to be negative 110, what? Negative 104, right? And now, uh, if you are continuing again, let's see. When you are saying 2 again, this is going to be the same as negative 20. And negative 20, uh, from negative 20 up until here, what is it that you are going to have? This is going to be your 84. How to care? So basically, these are going to be the next two terms, which is going to be 104 and your 84. Right? So that is going to be the next two terms. Now, the next question is, they want us to find out the TN. So how do we calculate for TN? So we are going to say, now we are going to equate this to 2A, right? So for TN, you're going to say this is going to be cos to what is going to be cos to your 2A. So your 2A plus, I mean, your 2A is going to be cos to 2, then your A is going to be cos to what? Your 1. And then now the second thing that you're going to do, then you're going to come back here and say 3A plus B is going to be given by this one, right? So you come back 3A plus b is going to be given by negative 28 and therefore this is going to be same as 3 into 1 plus b is equal to negative 28 so therefore the value of your b that you are going to find in here is going to be what the value of your b is going to be equal to negative 31 right because this is positive 3 when you take that side it's negative 3 so this is going to give you negative 31 this is going to be a plus b plus c is equal to what is equal to uh 204 how to get now that is going to be that particular one and then what is the value of your a this is one subtract 31 plus c is equals to 204 isn't it so so therefore which means your value of your c that you are going to find there is going to be two three four right so that is going to be the value of your c then which means therefore tn is given by a R uh, n squared plus b n plus your c, right? Then you're going to come back and substitute the value of your a. Your a is going to be n squared. Your b is going to be negative 31 n, right? Negative 31 n. And then your c is going to be plus 2, 3, 4, right? So that is going to be uh, the t n of this particular sequence. Now they say, uh, for the last one, they say calculate all the negative terms of this pattern. Now, how are we then going to calculate all the negative 10 of this particular pattern? Uh, this is what we are going to do. Now, uh, for us to calculate all the negative 10 of this particular pattern, we are going to equate this to be what? We are going to equate this to zero, right? And the same in terms of what is going to be that one. They say calculate all the negative 10 of this particular uh, thing. So then we are going to start from here. Oh, before that, look at me. 4.3. They say determine the values... Uh, of n if tn is equal to 36 so that one is going to be simply what this is going to be 36 is given by what by n squared subtract 31 n plus 2 3 4 right so that is going to be that and therefore when you solve this this is going to be same as n squared subtract 31 n and then this is going to be what when you take this uh, 36 this other side what is it that you're going to have you're going to have 198 
isn't it so this is going to 198 is equals to zero and then therefore what is it that you are going to do look uh, i know some of you is uh you are going to uh, use your quadratic formula which is still fine let's say those who use quadratic formula this is going to be negative b plus minus a uh, b squared subtract 4 ac over your 2a right so what is going to be this one this is going to be negative into negative 31 plus minus what is going to be this this is going to be negative 31 again squared subtract 4 what is your a your a is given by 1 and then your c is going to be given by 198 uh over what 2 into what into 1 so therefore which means your value of your n is going to be what your n is given by 31 plus minus root of 169 over what over 2 so therefore your n value that you are going to find here it's going to be same as 9 or the n value that you are going to find is going to be what is going to be cost to what is going to be cost to 22 right so basically these are going to be the two terms uh these are going to be the two values that you're going to find and since both of them are going to be positive so therefore that is going to be that one so which means uh, your t uh, of 9 and t of 22 both of them are going to give you what they are going to give you 36 oh it's okay hopefully this makes sense to you now let's look at uh the last one which is 2.4 uh, uh, or rather 4.4 and see in terms of what is it that you're going to uh, do that now for us to calculate the last one they say calculate all the negative terms right i uh, already i've started and said now for you to calculate all the negative terms what is it that you're going to have now this is going to start here now we are going to take this you are going to take this particular equation and you are going to uh, equate it to what you're going to equate it to zero now when you say n squared uh subtract what is the other one subtract 31 n right 31 n plus 2 3 4 you are going to equate this to uh to be equal to zero right so which means whenever they say those all of them that will have the negative term this is going to be where tn is equal to zero right then now this is going to be same as what you can still use the same thing of what uh you can still use the same thing of using your quadratic formula so your n here is going to be given by negative b again plus minus a uh, b squared subtract 4 ac over what over your 2a right this is your a and then this is same as what this is same as negative into negative 31 plus minus this is same as your negative 31 squared subtract 4 your a is 1 and then you see now it's 2 3 4 right a over your 2 and then what is the value of your a it is 1 so therefore which means the n value that you are going to find in here you are going to find your n which is same as 13 or your n, which is going to be cost to what? Which is going to be cost to your 18, right? Because remember, the n here it was same as uh, 31 plus minus root 25 over 2. How to get? Which gave us the 13 and also the 18. So basically, this is going to be that. Now, if you can uh, test this one, uh, if you can test this one and see in terms of which one is going to be that one, uh, if you can test, for example, uh, if you can look at what is going to be your term 14, uh, let, then let's see what is going to be your, your term 14. Then if you plug into that particular formula, term, term 14, what is going to be your term 14? Now, uh, if you, uh, you are going to plug your term 14, your term 14 here, you put in your 14 here, you are putting... Uh, your 14 here you'll realize that the answer that you're going to find is going to be your negative 4 similarly if you let's say now you put in your term 15 what is going to be your term 15 your term 15 the answer that you're going to get here when you're putting your 15 here your 15 here and then you solve you realize that you're going to get your negative 6 how to get and now uh if let's say you are putting your term uh let's say you are putting your term uh what your term uh 16 your term 16, the answer that you're going to find in here is still going to be negative 6. And for your term 17, it's going to be same, still the same as what? It's going to be still the same as neg uh, negative 4, right? This is going to be negative 4. And as you can see, all the answers that you're getting here, they are negative numbers, right? How to get? So indeed, it's going to be your 13 and also your 18 where it's going to give you those particular values how to get so uh, it's going to be what so which means it's going to be the term 14 and what 
term 14 and term 17, which is going to give you a negative 4. And then term, uh, what? term 16 and term 15, which both of them are going to give you what? your negative 6, right? So that's how you are then going to find out in terms of which two terms are, or rather which uh, terms are going to give you the negative numbers. Are we together? Hopefully that makes sense to you. And thank you very much.